He's average at best natural. Coach Greg, and in today's video, it's all about steroids and injections. And in this case, we're talking about Jeremy Bondia. He showed a before and after transformation. It's absolutely amazing. But when you go to the comments on his post, I see nothing but negative. It's all about steroids and injections with and without HGH. Dude's average as cookbook when he ate blasting gear, muscle memory, and a lot of gear. And you have to understand why the people are making these comments. Remember, this is a four-time Mr. Olympia champion. A guy with ultra-elite, superior, mind-blowing genetics better than almost anyone. And if you compare his before to his after, it's night and day different. In the after, you can clearly see guy just needs to diet down a little bit. He's going to be on the Mr. Olympia stage. But in the before, he's carrying a lot less muscle. But here lies the problem. The people are looking at the before photo and they're thinking, yeah, that's an average physique. Oh, come on. You just wake up and decided to inject. I mean, he's average at best natural. Average at best. And so there lies the problem. It's crazy how you can take drugs and become a role model for health and fitness while real natural athletes and lifters get no recognition. Backwards world. And so here lies the problem. It is before video. The guy is clearly far above average. He's not even close to average. Remember, this is a guy with elite level gifted genetics. And you're looking at that and thinking, yeah, average mid-level physique. You know, most people could attain that probably if they worked out three or four years. When in reality, most people who take steroids are not even going to look as good as he does in the before photo. But y'all think that everyone who takes steroids they end up looking like he does in the after. Even in his before video, he looks absolutely amazing. But you are all bombarded and brainwashed from seeing the best of the best, the top 1% of the top 1% that you think that that's average. It's not even close to average. And so, yes, Jeremy is, of course, not natural. And this transformation was aided by the fact that he was using performance-enhancing drugs. And on top of that, he has muscle memory. He was a four-time champion. The guy was already huge. And so, obviously, he'd already done it in the past. And so, it's going to be that much easier to get back to his former self. Jeremy writes... If I can do it, you can do it. No, Jeremy, that is nonsense. And what happens is people who accomplish things in life, they think that anyone can do what they did. If they just put the same mindset and did the same amount of hard work, that they could achieve what they did. It's bullshit. Jeremy, you have ultra elite genetics, certainly the top 1% of the population. And so if you can do it, maybe if we're lucky, 1% of the population could also do it. But to say, look at me, I did it, you can too. Of course not. You're a four-time Mr. Olympia champion. Oh, if I can be the champion, you can also be the champion. It doesn't work like that. I know what it's like to feel defeated. I'm pretty sure that everyone on this earth knows what it feels like to be defeated at something at one time or another. But you know what? Most people don't know what it feels like to be a four-time Mr. Olympia champion. And so what happens is your standards, they keep rising. Jeremy has won the Olympia title so many times that anything less than first place feels like a defeat. Does his physique at the start look like he was defeated? Or does it look like perhaps your dream physique? The majority of people are watching him in the before and thinking, if I could ever look like his before, that would be amazing. I'll never get there. Maybe if I'm lucky, perhaps if I watch enough of Coach Greg's videos, get his cookbook, supplements, and everything, train for 10 years, maybe I'll get halfway there. And so what happens is Jeremy, he's disappointed. Oh, I don't like my physique. You know, I'm only 12% body fat. I'm looking like this. It's just nothing like what I used to look like. Remember, do not compare yourself to other people. And I have to add to that. Also, don't compare yourself to your former self when you are abusing performance enhancing drugs. Imagine if we all did that. If I look back at my old photos when I had 20 pounds more muscle while I was blasting gear and I compare myself then to now, I'm going to say, wow, I don't look so good. I'm not lean enough. I don't have enough muscle. I'm getting old. And so you have to just live each day to the fullest. Stop comparing yourself to when you're abusing drugs and just do the best that you can. Sometimes there feels like there is no hope. I mean, I just don't buy it. There's no hope. He knew he was going to take steroids. He knew he wasn't going to do this natural. And so what is the point of this? Hey, everyone, if you don't feel good about your body and if you feel there's no hope, then jump on a bunch of gear and get that body you deserve. 
I don't like the message. And so, yeah, I know he means well, trying to motivate you. Hey, everyone out there, you're feeling defeated. You don't look your best. Well, look at me. I did it and so can you. But we all know he didn't do it natural. We all know this is a guy with ultra elite genetics. And so I don't think watching what he does inspires us to improve our own bodies. I want you to know we are all stronger than we think. Well, in actuality, many of us are weaker than we think. Some of us think I can win anything. I'm going to be first place at the Mr. Olympia. I can do it all. And then you compete and you get last. You tried your best, but you couldn't do it. Remember, it really boils down to your genetics. If you have the best genetics in the world and you combine that with hard work, training, dedication, all that good stuff, yeah, you're gonna be a champion. But if you have horribly awful genetics and you say, I'm the best, I can do anything, well, you're probably not, you're probably gonna fail. And so rather than having that mindset, and I know it's not for everyone, I know a lot of people don't like my mindset, I just say, be the best version of yourself. Do the best that you possibly can. And that it's not about being perfect, it's just about being better than you are. But for others, no, you have to have your eye on the prize. You have to say you can win everything. I just don't like that. You're setting yourself up for failure. And so perhaps I view things differently than you, but that's okay. I'd rather people set realistic and achievable goals that they can actually get than having their eye on first place and it's all or nothing. And if you don't win, what's going to happen? Well, you're probably going to abuse steroids. You're probably going to keep upping the doses because, well, you said you were going to win and now you have to prove it. And so you better abuse more drugs versus I'm just going to look my best, do my best, train as hard as I can. And whatever happens, happens. As long as I know I put my best foot forward, that I gave it my all, that is good enough. To me, that is a winner. And so regardless if you're training natural or if you're training enhanced, whether you look closer to the guy at the start of this transformation or closer to him at the end of the transformation, What's important is to know that you're good enough. Just do your best. You don't have to be perfect. You don't need to abuse steroids and you don't need to be the champion. You are your own champion. Be the best version of yourself that you can be and try to be happy. Try to be healthy. And so the problem with this post is people know that this wasn't done natural. And so if you make a post, you say, you know, if I can do it, you can all do it. And motivation this and motivation that. And, and look at my physique here and look at me now, but you know it's from steroids. Well, it kind of takes away from the message. The majority of people watching this, I know you think that most people are abusing steroids. The majority of people who watch my channel and other channels are not actually taking steroids. They're actually natural. Most people here on this earth are natural. And yeah, I get it. Most people who compete are not natural. But if you're going to deliver the best message possible, it's to try to do it natural. To be the best version of yourself without having to resort to performance enhancing drugs. And I know I sound like a hypocrite because I've used them in the past. But remember, we all make mistakes. We can all learn from each other. And so learn from me. All the steroids did, it caused me to get bigger, sure. But then you have to stop eventually. And what damage may that have done? And the bigger you get, the more developed you get, the more you're going to want to keep getting bigger, the more you're going to want to keep taking steroids. And so please don't start them in the first place, because if you do, trust me, you're not going to want to stop. Looking for the best natural supplement I can recommend? Look no further than GO2 Max, the main ingredient, NMN, shown in double-blind, placebo-controlled human studies to make a dramatic improvement in your cardiovascular endurance. That means you recover faster between sets. You can do cardio at a faster pace and go longer and ultimately this can help you become a better butter burner have a lower set point for holding body fat and potentially even help you to build muscle interested in geo2 max head over to my website enter code greg 10 percent off and of course we have all various kinds of supplements so many i can't list them here please visit the website and of course cookbook 3.0 is out now click the link in the description if you're looking for training books coaching plans by me and my team the circle diet book and the harder than last time clothing line head over there subscribe Click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of the two bloops. And until next time, I am out.